In the previous chapter, we introduced the cow's reproductive cycle and the two main stages of the cycle, starting and finishing with the release of an ovum. In this chapter, we will focus in more detail on the different hormones that influence it. The luteal phase is characterized by the presence of a corpus luteum, which releases progesterone, the pregnancy hormone. This phase lasts around 18 days. If the cow does not become pregnant during this time, the uterus will start to release prostaglandin, which destroys the CL, in turn stopping the release of progesterone. As progesterone concentrations drop, estrogen from the developing follicle increases, culminating in standing estrus, or heat, and release of a large amount of GnRH and LH. This causes ovulation of the follicle in about 28 hours and release of the ovum. The structure in the body that produces each of the hormones is well known. The corpus luteum produces progesterone and the follicle produces estrogen. These are the two key structures on the ovary and the two key hormones from the ovary. If the cow does not become pregnant, the non-pregnant uterus secretes prostaglandin to kill the corpus luteum. The hormone that causes initial growth of the follicles, follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, and the hormone that causes ovulation of the follicle, LH, both come from the pituitary. The hormone that causes secretion of LH, GnRH, is released by a part of the brain that is near the pituitary gland called the hypothalamus. Follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH, are released into the bloodstream and travel to the ovary where they have their effect. Heifers reach puberty at about 12 months of age, which means they have their first ovulation. Follicles are growing prior to this time, but the follicles do not grow large enough or produce enough estrogen to cause the heifer to show estrus and have ovulation. Similarly, after calving, cows start to grow groups of follicles called follicular waves. Cows usually ovulate for the first time at about 20 to 60 days after calving. However, in some cows, follicles do not grow large enough or produce enough estrogen to produce estrus and ovulation. These cows are usually thin cows and do not consume sufficient energy to match their milk production after calving. In some cows, follicles grow too large and do not ovulate. These large follicles are called follicular cysts and can be a cause of infertility in these cows. Pregnancy begins in heifers or cows when the ovum that is released during ovulation is fertilized in the oviduct. The developing corpus luteum produces progesterone, which is essential for normal development of the embryo. On the other hand, the developing embryo must signal its presence so that the corpus luteum will not regress. If the corpus luteum regresses, the pregnancy will be lost. The signal from the embryo to maintain the corpus luteum is called interferon. The developing embryo secretes interferon into the uterus starting at about 16 days after estrus, and this stops the normal regression of the corpus luteum caused by prostaglandins from the uterus. Let's consider what happens if the cow does not become pregnant. In this case, there is no embryo to produce interferon. Hence, there is no suppression of prostaglandins being produced by the uterus. As a result, the corpus luteum will be destroyed, resulting in growth of the follicle, increasing estrogen, and eventually estrus and ovulation. Thus, a new cycle and a new opportunity for pregnancy proceeds in the cow.